Hello, it's Wednesday, August the 3rd, 2011, and I'm Martin Smith with a daily outlook from Maxiforex. The dollar strengthened against most of the major currencies as risk aversion intensified and with stocks extending the slide. The debt limit compromise passed by Congress and signed by President Obama leaves the US at further risk of a reduction in its top credit rating if politicians don't reduce the deficit. Moody's investors said today that US credit rating may be downgraded for the first time since 1917 on concern that fiscal discipline may ease. Further debt reduction measures won't be adopted and the economy may weaken. U.S. consumer spending unexpectedly dropped by 0.20% in June for the first time in almost two years, adding to evidence that the slump in hiring is hurting household confidence. Stock markets closed negative as the Dow fell by 2.19% and the Nasdaq lost 2.75%. Crude fell to a five-week low, closing at $93.20 a barrel, and gold closed at $1,656. The euro fell against the US dollar as risk aversion persisted. In addition, there's a high concern about the debt crisis triggered by Greece may threaten the region's economic recovery. Trading below resistance of 142.80 will keep the momentum negative for the pair. Overall, the euro dollar traded with a low of 141.50 and a high of 144.53. Today, retail sales is expected to grow by 0.5% versus minus 1.1% previously. The pound declined against the greenback after the pair failed to break it at 163.20 as a resistance level. The trend's bearish, provided it maintains its resistance of 163.20. Overall, the pound dollar traded with a low of 162.23 and a high of 164.72. Today's services PMI is expected to show 53.3 versus 53.9 previously. The dollar fell against the yen due to risk aversion trading, despite ongoing speculation that the Bank of Japan is ready to intervene in the foreign exchange market to weaken the currency. The strong yen is the biggest uncertainty facing Japan's economic recovery. If the pair succeeds in breaking resistance of 78, it may bring the pair to 78.80 once again. But if it maintains 77.60 as a resistance, the pair may reach to new records. The Canadian dollar declined against its US counterpart over concern that the global economy is slowing due to reduced demand for higher yielding assets. The trend for the pair is bullish, but if it breaks support of 095.80, the trend will change. No economic data is expected today. Well, that's it from me. Be sure to visit us at maxiforex.ru.